Uh, the play takes place after the fall of civilization as we know it. In the first act, a group of survivors are struggling to raise their spirits by putting together a Simpsons episode from memory. The play then progresses forward in time, and we follow the story. I was really interested in the idea of taking a TV show and pushing it forward past the apocalypse and seeing what would happen to it. I don't remember how I hit upon The Simpsons. I, I was, it was a really casual decision. I was thinking, oh, Friends or Cheers or Seinfeld or any show which had been sort of really popular, popular enough so that people would really have a huge affection for it and have a lot of memory of it. it turned out to be a really useful decision. The Simpsons, partly because so many people really, it has a slightly more rabid fan base than other shows. People really remember it and they really enjoy remembering it. They really enjoy quoting it and saving up quotes and sharing quotes. So realistically, you'd have a good base of people who could start remembering The Simpsons. I'm a founding member of The Civilians, which is an investigative theater group, which was started by Steve Cawson, who's directing the play. So I got hold of Steve, and we set up a time with a group of civilians actors. And that summer, for some reason, one of the free rehearsal spaces floating around was a bank vault deep underneath Wall Street. So we went down to this bank vault, which was a very elaborate procedure involving security guards and elevators and corridors and more elevators and more corridors and more corridors. And we had to string up signs down there to make sure the actors could get to it, little arrows. And at the very end of this, there was a disused bank vault with huge metal doors and one of those wheel handles and this little room, yellow, I think, with flickering fluorescent lights and no cell service. And we spent a week in there. The episode they had the best recall of was Kate Fury, which is a parody of the Scorsese, Robert De Niro remake of the original Cape Fear with Robert Mitchum. If you've lost the entire civilization, you're really coming to entertainment for comfort. I mean, my assumption was that entertainment would function really differently at first. You can only you know, it's too soon to piece to, it's too soon to know where you are, it's too soon to piece together a new civilization, so you try to pull together the old one as best you can and remember what you had and then move forward. So that as they go forward, it seemed that at first a real value would be exactitude. You would really want things to be comforting and familiar and exactly the way you remembered them, that that would be important, the way it is for small kids after a crisis, the way it is for anyone after a crisis. You really want to remember how things were. And that as the situation stabilizes, people gradually begin to use entertainment as a way of talking about where they are now or what they're thinking about now, even if it's in covert ways or hidden ways.